Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to add the Rain Viewer plugin to your Leaflet web map. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to this GitHub page and download the code, and credit goes out to the person who put this code together. If we go over here to the green button, where it says code, click the down arrow and download the zip file. Okay, and once we have that downloaded, we could go ahead and extract it. And what I'm gonna do is take the extracted folder and just copy that. And I'll put it in my project folder where I have my HTML code. So I'll paste that here. And just to show you the HTML, I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio, and it's just a very simple web map. And I'll leave a link in the description down below as well, just to show you how to create something very simple, um, such as this. Okay, so what we wanna do is open up that folder that we added to our project folder, the leaflet, leaflet rainwater, and we're going to add the CSS as well as this JavaScript. So right up here in the head, I'm going to... Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to this GitHub page and download the code, and credit goes out to the person who put this code together. If we go over here to the green button where it says code, click the down arrow, and download the zip file. Okay, and once we have that downloaded, we could go ahead and extract it. And what I'm gonna do is take the extracted folder and just copy that, and I'll put it in my project folder where I have my HTML code. So I'll paste that here. And just to show you the HTML, I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio, and it's just a very simple web map. And I'll leave a link in the description down below as well, just to show you how to create something very simple, um, such as this. Okay, so what we wanna do is open up that folder that we added to our project folder, the leaflet, leaflet rainwater, and we're gonna add the CSS as well as this JavaScript. So right up here in the head, I'm gonna add our CSS right below here. Style sheet and href equals now in between the double quotes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste the relative path. So what I'm doing is just right clicking onto the CSS file and copying the relative path. And I'm just gonna paste it right here between the double quotes. And we'll close that off. The next thing we need to do is add the JavaScript file. Oops, and the source. And again, between the double quotes, we're gonna paste this JavaScript. So what we're gonna do is right click and copy the relative path and paste that right between the double quotes. And we'll close that off as well. Now, if we go back to the GitHub page, you can see here for the installation, we added the style sheet and the JavaScript and for the setup, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this whole thing and you could do that by just clicking right here and it's copied. And let's go back to our HTML. Underneath the body, I'm just gonna paste it right here. And as you can see, that's commented out, it says change default options, meaning you could just change some of these options, but I'm just gonna call this uh, uh, the rain viewer 
And as you see that the default settings are bottom left, so you could change that to you know bottom right, upper left, upper right, whatnot. Um, you could change the text here to play and stop. And you could change, you could kind of mess around here with the animation intervals. It's at 500, opacity is at a half of, of a half. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and run it. So as you can see here that the icon is on the bottom left as described there. And if we click onto that button, we have this little window that opens up and we could go ahead and play. And you could hit one more time to pause it. You could go back in time or forward in time as noted down below here. So as you see, the date is today. And right now it's 5.09 my time. And if I forward this, you know, there's a little bit of lag time to get the data into this, but you know, it's pretty, pretty current. And as you see, it's worldwide. And here's the opacity that you could change. So the opacity here, you could set a default. So when I refresh this, get the button, it's at like a half, half of the, uh, the opacity amount. If I did like a quarter of it, save that and refresh my map. You see that the opacity now is defaulted to a little bit less. So I hope you guys find this useful. Um, I think this could be a useful tool in many, many leaflet web map projects. And leave a comment down below if um, what you would use this for. And of course, if you guys have any questions on how to add this plugin to your leaflet web map, or if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, I really do appreciate that. And as always, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.